Sri Guruba Namaha children, welcome to our online teaching academy, Ekaleva. Now we are going to see the lesson for electric charge. electric charge and electric current this going to see the topic about types of current here before we should know what is current already we have discussed about how the current will produce a moving charge or an electron will produce the current. So this current is divided into two types. One is DC current, other one is AC. DC means direct current. AC means alternating current. So current means a moving charge or a flow of electron will produce a current. So based on this, it is divided into two types. One is AC current and the another one is DC current. So now we are going to see one by one the direct current first. Okay. As we know, okay, in the electrical circuit, the current will produce depends on the moving charge or a flow of electrons. So moving charge means the moving charge will flow from the higher potential to the lower potential. which means positive to negative, higher potential to lower potential. Which means the direction of current takes place from positive to negative terminal. So if at all is the electron means, it will move from lower potential to higher potential. So this is how the direction of current will take place. So some moving charge will move from higher potential to lower potential. Uh, if the electron flows means it will move from the lower potential to the higher potential. So if you take this a battery as a source means, so here in this battery the electrons will move. So in a battery electron it will move from the negative terminal. to the positive terminal. So when you take a charge higher potential to lower potential, electron means lower to high no. So here in the case of uh, electron we can take a battery as, as an example of it. So electrons means it will move from the lower to higher means negative terminal to the positive terminals. So for example let me draw a circuit through it I will explain you. If you take this circuit, okay, this is the cell, you can, uh, if you are connecting more than this, you can call it as a battery. So in this, where the current flows from here towards to the, through the wire to the bulb, okay, this is, you take, this is a bulb. So from the other way, it goes again back to the uh, source itself, which means the current flows only 
in one direction okay you keep on continues to flow from the source to the bulb from the bulb to the source so it go moves only in a one direction so the flowing of current taking place in only one direction shows this is the dc or direct current so if you take a direct current means battery is one of the source of dc okay so how can be dc no the flowing of current will take place only in a one direction now many many electrical circuits are working based on the dc uh, like cell phones or radios or electric keyboards or uh, electric uh, appliances some of them are working based on the dc current so what is dc no no the direction of flow of current will move only in a one directions so now we going to see the next part of a current is alternating current which means ac or alternating current okay how are you going to learn them the word alter it shows uh, it's going to change the direction of flow of current the direction of flow of current it may be higher to lower or lower to higher no so the direction get changes no the direction of flow of current changes its direction changes its direction with respect to time you can call it is the alternating current so dc means continuously flows in one one direction without changing it okay dc current will flows if this is a current and this is the time means it will not show any changes in the graph continuously parallelly goes along with the only one direction in case of alternating current so you can represent through this sinusoidal wave so this is the line represent this is represent current and this represent the time so when you take this the direction of change of current to shows through the sinusoidal wave if you see the time one particular time it goes above over here after then it comes down of the time then keep on continuously moves up and down so you can call this is the sinusoidal wave so you can call this is the positive half of cycle and this is the negative half of the cycle so with respect to time it keep on changing so when the current flows to one uh, one time to the positive time then goes change into the negative terminal so keep on changing this current so the direction of flow of current changes in with respect to time you can call it is alternating current so based on there are some variation no so these variations we can call the term of frequency the variation taking place it has been represented through, through sinusoidal wave you can call this variation in term of frequency so now we wanted to know what is frequency so frequency means the number of the number of complete cycle so what is it what does the mean of number of complete cycle means when you take this graph here this is one off okay and then this other off these two together one off of the positive and then next off of the negative you can call this is one complete cycle okay likewise so in ac current for one min of one second how many number of cycle taking place you can call that is the frequency do you understand this okay alternating current means changing the di direction of a current 
okay it can by change you how it is showing the changes no to the one of a positive and the other of the negative so this is called one complete cycle so depends on the number of one one second how many number of cycles taking place you can call that is the frequency why the here in the case of alternating current electrons are not moving in only one direction no if you take here electrons keep on changing its direction because potential so here electrons electrons not moving in a particular direction in case of direct current without changing a direction it keep on flows in a circuit but in case of a uh, alternating current electrons do not change the direction no it because because here the potential is between the terminal potential between the terminal it varies from potential okay it varies from high and low it varies between high and low so due to this reason there is a change of current in the alternating current okay why the electrons are not moving in a only one direction because of potential between the terminals varies between what ma between high and low is continues keep on continuous vice versa so due to that only there is a change of direction the change of current in the directions here in the domestic purpose uh, uh, the electric current is supplied in the form of ac so for the domestic supply the electric current is supplying in the form of ac but electrical devices are uh, have to use in the form of dc so we need there are the we need some support so it's called converter so to change a current of ac to dc or dc to ac we need a converter so we can call so to change a current of ac to dc we need a device is called the name of a device is rectifier rectifier means we can call it is a battery eliminator battery eliminator or dc adapter so by using that can change the alternating current into dc current similarly can change the direct current into dc current uh, there is another device which is called as inverter so nowadays inverters are available in all the homes isn't it so you know how the current is changing of dc to ac so the, by using these uh, devices of converter like rectifier or inverter we can convert the current of ac to dc or dc to ac now how are we going to represent these dc and ac in the form of electrical circuit symbol no here let me show, show you this is positive terminal and negative terminal by this way can represent otherwise this symbol represent about dc voltage electrical symbol okay so dc voltage can represent with the help of this symbol okay this is a symbol called ac voltage
So these are the symbols we'll use to represent in the form of electric circuit diagrams. So, so you by this way also can rep can represent the AC or DC in the current in the electrical circuit. Children, we'll see you on next video. Thank you. To receive our online lessons, please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates. Thank you.